Hello and welcome to the Leathercraft Masterclass with me, Phil. And in this episode of Tabletop Tips, I'm going to be discussing how to get thick thread through a small needle. So why would you want to use a smaller needle with thick thread? Well, the idea is you want to use the smallest needle possible that you can get your thread through because larger needles are generally thicker. And when you have a thick needle with thick thread, it's going to make it that much harder to stitch. So ideally, unless you really need the extra length afforded by a larger needle, you want to switch to the smallest needle that you can possibly use. So this is a John James 002. Great needle, but you're gonna need a very large awl uh, with thick thread as well. So this is a very common John James 004 needle. Now this thread here is Filou Chinois 332 and after waxing measures around 0.75 millimeters, which is larger than the hole of the needle itself. So how are we gonna get it in there? Because right now it would be next to impossible. So there's two methods. The traditional way, I'll show you first. Now the traditional method is to take your thread and we're going to taper it down towards the end, okay? So taking a sharp knife, gradually coming in, and just taking off the end and just tapering it like so. And I can carry that on by going back a little bit further and starting a scraping method. So taking your blade, not quite 90 degrees, okay? Slightly off, so with the spine facing forwards towards the tapered end. It will separate somewhat and you'll start building up some fluff, okay? Now you can remove that and at this point, that's obviously not going to fit through a needle, best of luck with that. We're gonna take a piece of wax, just some beeswax, and I'm gonna pull it through a few times just to wax that end. And what we're looking for is a tapered point. Now once you've got that, you can just take off the very end, like so. And now you can take your needle, place it in, And once you're on to the main part, you can then turn it over and start locking your needle in place. So that is the traditional method of threading a needle where you have thick thread through a smaller needle. So let's explore another method that's much faster, quicker, and simpler to do. Now taking a fresh piece of thread, the easiest method that I've found is to forego the knife and just take a hammer. It doesn't have to be a polished hammer. Just gonna hold it on the end there and take the corner, okay, so not facing straight down, just the corner. And then with that chiseled end, I can place one corner of it into the eye of the needle and then lift up at the same time. Pull through as normal. And then I can lock in my needle as usual. So this is just a much quicker method and requires a little bit less skill than tapering using the knife and you'll get the exact same result. So which method you use is really up to you. I use this method because it's just much faster and uses up less time. For more information about Leathercraft tips and the Leathercraft Masterclass courses available, check out leathercraftmasterclass.com. Thank you for watching.